It's nice to have good things at a cheap price. And this mouse just blows everything out of the water when it comes to value for money. Hey guys, I am Siddharth and this is Logitech G102 Gaming Mouse Review. I am really surprised by how good this mouse looks. It just hits the right balance between a professional and gamery look and the lighting on it is even better than my Logitech G502 Hero, which is so great to have at this price point. You have a large Logitech G logo along with this awesome light bar at back and the lighting is perfectly consistent. The RGB transition is very smooth and it's so bright that you will have to turn the brightness down. You can't control the lighting on logo and light bar individually, but that's alright. This is a medium to smallish mouse and that is a good thing. Claw grip on it works really well and hybrid grip works well too, though it's not big enough for a palm grip. The basic shape is really great and comfortable to use for long durations and while there aren't any fancy materials used, the plastic has a nice matte texture that doesn't let the mouse slip anywhere. This mouse actually has the exact same shape and design as the Logitech G Pro, which is one of the best gaming mice, so you are getting a lot for your money. The scroll wheel is one of the best that I have tried. It has a rubber surface, it's light but not too light and the middle click also has a very balanced resistance and feels very nice to press. You have two extra buttons on the side which are very easy to reach in spite of not being very large and the DPI button is also fairly easy to reach but it's not usable enough to be assigned an action to while gaming. At 85 grams, the weight is just perfect for fast paced gaming and this coupled with a shape that doesn't restrict your hand position in any way really makes me feel how bad my G502 is for gaming. The separated left and right click buttons are consistent to press at all spots but the right click has a very slight sponginess at bottom so it doesn't feel as premium as much more expensive mice but you are not going to notice it at all unless you are looking for it or comparing it with a mouse like G502 Hero. The durability of these switches is rated at 10 million clicks which is half of the standard 20 million clicks that you get on Omron switches, but I am not sure how much of an effect this would have in the real world. You can set the steps that DPI cycles to, and while this mouse doesn't have a sniping button, you can set DPI button to one of the side buttons, which will make it work like a sniping button. The sensor used here is some mercury sensor developed by Logitech, and while it's not their flagship hero sensor, it's as good as you would ever want, even for high level gaming. Even some of the best players in the world haven't been able to tell the difference between this sensor and the flagship sensors in pro gaming mouse because those sensors are just way overkill for what the human hands can do. And even this sensor goes up to 8000 dpi which I don't think anyone is going to use. The cable also has a no-nonsense approach and most people who have tried the G Pro prefer this cable to the thick and braided cable on the G Pro. Logitech software isn't perfect but it's still one of the best out there. You can control the lighting with different effects and assign different functions and macros to different buttons in separate profiles which auto switch according to the program or game that's running. It doesn't always switch profiles when you switch between programs but it's still one of the most effective implementations. And three extra buttons aren't that many but it still allows you to greatly increase its functionality for productivity. So in conclusion, I'll just say that I was trying to keep this review shorter but there's just so many good things about this mouse that not saying them would have done injustice to this mouse. You can get more expensive mice and chase specs and numbers, but at the end of the day, I really don't think that any of those mice will enhance your performance in a meaningful way unless you are looking for some very specific features. So I really cannot recommend this mouse enough. It just checks all the boxes and the value you are getting at 1300 rupees price tag is just crazy. Links to buy this in the video description. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you disliked it and make sure that you are subscribed to this channel with notification bell icon for more videos like this and I will see you in the next one.